What is happening guys and welcome back to Redbeard's Garage. Today we're going to be checking out the Vegas Carts 460 DIY Builders Kit. This is a full engine kit that comes in a box that you yourself or you and your kids can put together and make an amazing little go-kart engine. So let's jump right into it and show you how to throw this kit together and make some power. Before starting the engine build we need to check the oil clearance on the rod. Place the rod into a vise protecting it with a leather glove. Install the rod bearings and place the crank onto the rod. Place a small piece of red plastic gauge onto the crank journal and torque rod bolts down to 15 foot pounds. We're looking for two to four thousandths clearance. If more or less, you'll have to replace your crank. We can now install the rings on the piston. Install the spacer followed by the oil rings on top and bottom of the spacer. Any numbers or letters on the rings needs to be facing up. You will have a black face and a chrome face ring. The black face is the middle ring and the chrome is the top compression ring. Install the wrist pin clip in one side of the piston. With the arrow of the piston pointing down as well as the long ear of the rod pointing down, we can install our rod to the piston. Oil the wrist pin and slide it into the piston and rod and install the last wrist pin clip. Install the rod bearings by lining up the notches on the bearing. We will not be using the governor, so I'm going to be drilling and tapping the governor hole and blocking it off with a 3 8 bolt. Pull the crank bearing and slide the crank into the block. Oil the cylinder and make sure the rings are orientated 120 degrees apart. Oil the piston ring compressor and install the piston. Tap around the ring compressor to ensure a good seal and tap the piston into the cylinder with the handle of a hammer.
oil the rod bearings and install the rod cap with the oil dipper pointing down. Pull the rod bolts and torque down the 15 foot pounds. Start at 10 foot pounds, adding 2 foot pounds until reaching 15. Oil and install the lifters and cam by lining up the dot on the cam and the crank. Install the balance shaft by lining up the dots. If you're not using the governor, then fill the hole on the side cover with RTV or a quarter inch bolt. Install the dowels and the side cover gasket before installing the side cover. Torque the side cover bolts to 17 foot pounds using a crisscross pattern. We need to lap our flywheel onto our crank using valve grinding compound. Spin the flywheel onto the crankshaft to make the surfaces. Make sure to clean all the grinding compound off the flywheel and crank. Install the two charging coils and wire retainer. Install the flywheel key and starter before installing the flywheel. Slide on the flywheel fan and starter cup and torque the flywheel to 85 foot pounds. I use a homemade crankshaft stop while torquing down the flywheel nut. Install the ignition coil and set the gap to 30 thousandths. Install the oil drain bolts in both sides of the block. Lap the valves by using valve grinding compound. This ensures a tight bond that will hold compression. Make sure to clean all the grinding compound from the valves and the head. Install the seal onto the intake valve guide and install the valves and springs. Place the lash caps onto the valve ends. Yeah. 
We can now install our head dowels and gasket. Install the head and torque to 26 foot pounds using a crisscross pattern. Install the push rods, rocker studs, and rockers. Use a 5,000th feeder gauge to set the valve latch. Install the spark plug, heat shield, wire grommet, and fan cover. Next we can install the carb adapter and slide on our 34mm flat slide carb. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the links in the video description where you can find this kit, a lot of tools that we use doing this kit. This is a really fun kit to throw together. You can do it in about a day to two days depending on your skill set. And it's just an awesome way for you to learn how to work on these small engines. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel. Go check out some of our other engine build videos. We build stuff from go-karts, mini bikes, buggies. We have a lot of fun on the channel and we think you'll enjoy watching it. So thank you so much for watching. We love you guys and God bless.